Hi there. Um, now for something completely different. Uh, but first, before anyone wonders why I haven't got my shirt on, it's uh, not to be saucy. It's uh, because I can't be bothered to put a shirt on. I am that lazy. Um, anyway, this is the second of my uh, Atheists for Jesus videos. Um, bit of a misnomer, really. I should have called it Atheists for the Bible. Um, but... Uh, there's this whole thing, you may or may not know of it, but uh, you know, there's this whole Richard Dawkins wrote an essay called Atheist for Jesus and that's kind of become a cultish like thing, so I thought I'd rip it off. Anyway, um, basically this is the uh, challenge I'm going to put to all atheists out there. What is your favourite book of the Bible and why? Um, a bit of a weird question, but you can answer it any way you like, I don't really care. Mm. Um, um, my favourite by far, bar none, is Ecclesiastes. It's a short book, 12 chapters, very easy to read. Um, read it yourself, but it pound for pound is the best bit of the Bible by far. It's got the most sensible advice, it's the most wise, and it is, even though it mentions God, it is really a very good way of living a godless life. If you follow what's in Ecclesiastes, it's great stuff. I've just extracted five quotes um, just to demonstrate but there's plenty more good stuff besides so read that tonight everybody um, I'll just read these quotes now just they're just a few just a random sampling literally of what's a great book um, if as I say anyone wants to get back to me tell me what their favorite book is and why you know fine so anyway nine nine enjoy life with your wife whom you love all the days of this meaningless life that God has given you under the sun, all your meaningless days, for this is your lot in life and in your toilsome labour under the sun. Ecclesiastes 3.19-22 to Man's fate is like that of the animals. The same fate awaits them both. As one dies, so dies the other. All have the same breath. Man has no advantage over the animal. Everything is meaningless. All go to the same place, all come from the dust, and all to dust return. Who knows if the spirit of man rises upwards and the spirit of the animal goes down into the earth? So I saw that there is nothing better for a man than to enjoy his work, because that is his lot. For who can bring him to see what will happen after him? Ecclesiastes 2.24 A man can do nothing better than to eat and drink and find satisfaction in his work. Ecclesiastes 4, 9 to 13. Two are better than one, because they have a good return for their work. If one falls down, his friend can help him up. But pity the man who falls and has no one to help him up. And if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Better a poor but wise youth than an old but foolish king who no longer knows how to take warning. In Ecclesiastes 9.4 Anyone who is among the living has hope. Even a live dog is better off than a dead lion. So there we are. Um, just a sampling of uh, what's a very good book. Um, so read it.